Dirk, thank you. New tonight, the Bay Area has long been known as a hotbed for anti-establishment culture, and that, of course, includes art. Joe Rosado Jr. shows us the annual and unusual publishing company celebrating 40 years on the edge. Every culture has its outsiders. Have your card on. Those are the people Ron Turner prefers. I remember going to the, when the circus would come to town in Fresno, where I grew up. Uh, the best place for me was the sideshow with the freaks. It was only natural Turner would turn his love of misfits into a career. Our crumb draws the blues. Forty years ago, he created an underground comic book to raise money for a struggling university ecology class. And we thought that underground comics were the strongest visual uh, vehicle for ideas at the time. His first comic featured the work of R. Crumb. It wasn't long before Last Gas Publishing was born. The things I liked is anything that's really strong and tells a good story, as well as, as the fantastic artwork. The San Francisco company is thought to be the world's oldest and largest publisher of underground art. Its anti-establishment themes have given a venue and voice to many underground artists. The history of comics is also a history of fighting against censorship. Among the artists published by Last Gasp is San Francisco cartoonist Bain Rodriguez. It's been key to uh, the production of underground comics and uh, just providing a, a, some forum, some uh, way that comics can get out there. This gate is from Alcatraz. But Turner doesn't just publish unusual art, he surrounds himself with it. Mass serial killer uh, John Wayne Gacy. Here's some artwork of his. Next week, Last Gasp will celebrate its 40th anniversary, but Turner figures the company's message is needed now as much as it was when he started. And some of us have more extraordinary things to deal with than others. Some have more extraordinary talent than others. And uh, if we all would appreciate everybody more, it would be a better place.